Yo, everybody. Well, it's taken almost two years, but we're finally hearing it. We are finally hearing it. And I'm going to play just like kind of the beginning of this, just so we can all hear it together. I think this guy says it pretty well. He might not be a stranger to many of you. You might recognize him. And the question of January 6th and the attack is on the ballot as well. With her primary election less than two weeks away, Republican Congresswoman Liz Cheney of Wyoming is out with a new political ad featuring her father, former Vice President Dick uh, Cheney. Take a look. By the way, you, you guys will notice, too, that like uh, on my playlist, I just I talk about everything that I think is stupid, no matter what party or side it's coming from. So if you come out with dumbass legislation or something that I don't agree with, I'm going to say something about it, even if you're on this party or that party or that party or independent, I don't give a shit about any of that. I care about these people and what they actually say. Uh, and because I've had some people be like, oh, you're, you're anti-Republican. I'm like, yeah, and I'm anti-Democrat and I'm anti-Green Party. I'm anti anybody that says anything stupid about Jewish people using space lasers to start forest fires and crazy dumbass conspiracies that hurt all of us as a country. Speaking of dumbass conspiracies, here is a take on one of the biggest conspiracies that we've had in this country so far. Here it goes. In our nation's 246 year history, there has never been an individual who is a greater threat to our republic than Donald Trump. He tried oh, to steal the last election using lies and violence to keep himself in power after the voters had rejected him. He is yeah. a coward. A real man wouldn't lie to his supporters. That's he lost his election too. and he lost big. I know it, he knows it, and deep down, I think most Republicans know it. Oh. Lynn and I are so proud of Liz for standing up for the truth doing what's right honoring her oath to the constitution I, and i gotta cut in right here you know what i okay all right i gotta give miss liz cheney here credit where it's due um i've had a lot of people say well she's part of the evil party well she's trying to be the lesser evil of it i guess because she obviously wasn't going along with all the crazy extreme radical shit and makes me think of the position that these people are put into. A lot of them probably aren't that radical. But then when you have somebody that is in charge of that party that is, well, now we all have to play this stupid fucking game where we all prove our loyalty. So let's see how crazy we all can get uh, because they're trying to play favorites for a psychopath. And I guess Liz was just like, you know what? No, no, because I'd like to have a political career or anything of a career after this is done. So yeah, she did speak out against it. Um, and I got to give her props for that. See, in the future, it doesn't matter what Liz Cheney does. It doesn't matter if she's Democrat, Republican, or Green Party. I'll look at her and be like, hey, you know what? I don't know about this lady's policy. I don't know what she's going on about right now or what she's you know, going for. But I do know that when her own party rose up with some crazy bullshit conspiracy theory garbage that instead of getting behind it like every other ass clown that was in the in in that meeting room with her she said no i'm not going to do that this is actually going against the people this is going against our country i'm not going to support that and no one will ever be able to take that away from her and i'm always going to give her props for that so She'll like, yeah, doesn't matter what party you're from. Doesn't matter where you're from. What, what I care about is what you're actually talking about. Now, I'm sure Liz Cheney also has a bunch of terrible ideas on terrible policy. The thing is, I haven't got to hear about any policy ideas or anything because the only thing we hear about is a stolen election, January 6th, this and that. At least she's taking uh, a stance on the right side of that. You know, but short of that, I don't actually know what these people's political agendas, uh, we don't know what their political agendas are, but like their actual political platforms are. They stopped making platforms. Now, presidents used to run and say, hey, if I get elected, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Uh, when Trump ran the second time, he didn't even have a damn platform. 
He was like, I'm going to run and it's me and I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do and you're still going to vote for me. So I want to hear actually more politics and what these people plan to do about policies and things like that uh, as opposed to just whether they, they back the big lie or not. I think we need to get back to actual politics to make this country better and not fighting over a goddamn lie. So I'll give her credit here at the same time. I also know that, well, you know what? No, actually Liz Cheney, I think she supports my right to have a gun. I think because she's on that side, but you never know. Like, see, and that's what I'm saying. Like there's plenty of uh, Democrats that I've seen that, yeah, I'll agree with, you know, maybe this or that or this position or that position. But then that asshole turns around and says, but I want to take all your guns away so you can't protect yourself. And I say, oh, well, okay, now you suck too. So, I don't know, that's just where I'm coming from. This is why I don't back a party. This is why I don't choose. Um, this is why I just sit back and I hate on all of them equally. Um, now, that being said, you're going to see people pop up here from all different parties. And it's going to be based on the stupid shit that they say and they do. Look forward to some Marjorie Trader Green here uh, and... Some people like that. And hey, if there's radicalists on the other side that are spewing crazy ass dumb shit, I'm going to cover that too. And if there's radicals in the Green Party spewing crazy green shit, yeah, we're going to be talking about that too. Because this is just getting, uh, this is getting stupid. Here we go. When so many in our party are too scared to do so. Damn right. Liz is fearless. She never backs down from a fight. There is nothing more important she will ever do than lead the effort to make sure Donald Trump is never again near the Oval Office. Fuck yeah. And she will succeed. Good. I am Dick Cheney. I proudly voted for my daughter. I hope you will too. I'm Liz Cheney. I'm Liz Cheney, and my dad's a dick. Oh, I gotta love that. That's, that's, that is how this should end. She should just be like, I'm Liz Cheney, and my dad's a dick. He's the dick. And he knows the goddamn truth. That's what she should be saying. And I approve this message. Wow. Mika, pretty extraordinary oh. ad there. Uh, Liz Cheney has a big uphill climb ahead of her. Doesn't care. She's standing there. Uh, real talk, though. That speech her daddy just done gave? Well, goddamn. That was damn near worth a presidential speech. The kids got the stuff. I mean, the... Uh, the music they were playing, I mean, that shit was real. I felt it. Again, uh, her father probably has done a bunch of crazy, evil pol political shit himself that, you know, I wouldn't agree with. But right here, yeah, I'm going to agree with him on everything he just said. It is all true. It is all true. Uh, it's cool that some people are trying to stand on the right side of this. Uh, you know what? While we're talking about those people, uh, the same thing I just said about Liz Cheney, I will say the same damn thing about Pence. And that's crazy because, uh, you know, at least Pence was like, no, this has gone too far. I cannot overrule anything. He just flat out just was like, no, I'm not doing that because, you know, it's just it's prison time. It's wrong. Uh, the reason that he gave was because that choice should be up to the people and it's not Whatever, whatever. Uh, the, the, the thing is, I'll give him props for that, for standing his ground, I guess. But the fact is, uh, that guy is a Bible-thumping lunatic. So that's about all the props I can give him. Because I also know that that guy wants to unite state and church. He, he wants to bring religion into the government. Pence is freaking open about it. And... He's not talking about all religion. He's just talking about his religion and his, you know, crazy ass religious, almost zealot ish beliefs that do not belong in our government. Yeah, he's real tight lipped about it. And, you know, he's real formal and real professional. But that guy definitely does have his own freaking agenda. And I'm actually scared that this has somehow empowered Pence for the future. Because when all this falls apart for the shitty orange party, he'll be able to say, hey, I was right the whole time. Everybody gather behind me. I'll be the next president. And the problem is Pence could probably do so much more damage 
than Donald Trump ever could because he's not as stupid as Trump. And the proof's right here. He's not as stupid as Trump because he didn't go along with Trump's scheme because he knew that it was going to be all bad news for all of them. Uh, and you know what? I still got to give him props for that. I still got to give him props for that. I got to give Liz Cheney props for that. I don't want anyone saying that I like hate Democrats or hate Republicans or hate anyone. I will always give people credit where they're due, where it's due. I don't know about them being due. I will always give people credit where it's due. And on this particular case, uh, Cheney and Pence, they do deserve some credit for me. And when I see them anywhere in the future, I'll always think at least they have that going for them. For fuck whatever all else they say, at least they have that going for them. And that's something instead of nothing. So cool. Awesome. That's about all the props they're going to get, though. In the breach, leading the January 6th committee and saying this is much more important than winning an election. Maybe yes, I'll lose is. and I'll take that deal. Um, but Honestly, she's trailing. You know, the funny thing is, they're like, oh, these people aren't going to have a political career that stand up against Donald Trump. Uh, the truth of the matter is, folks, the people that stood up against Trump are going to go down in the fucking history books forever. Liz Cheney and Pence will be, literally be in history books uh, chapter 12, page, you know, subsection 26, when tyrannical, disgraced former ex-president, did I say disgraced? Disgraced former ex-president Donald Trump tried to, you know, steal our election by force and even made a goddamn riot at the Capitol over it. Uh, these were his own people that stood up and said, no, that's wrong. We know this is wrong. And yeah, it's going to be a short list of people, but Pence is going to be there. Liz Cheney's going to be there. And they will actually be in a fucking history book. All right? And guess what? The people that are up after them, they won't be. So, I don't know. I think I think Liz Cheney and I think, uh, what's his name? I think they both made the right choice because they're choosing to go down into history books that's the way that I see it, and I think this will this is some stuff that will be in the history books. So that's just my take on it. Uh, but of course, everyone's like, yeah, but they're in the next four years, their political careers are gonna be. You know what? When you're these people, why would you even care? Like, you're already old, you're already a millionaire, maybe even a billionaire. You know? You would think that to these people, it would be just better just to be remembered in the history books forever then I, I, don't, I don't even know what the alternative is. Uh, be remembered for helping actually destroy democracy because that's the only other way you would get covered um, in, in a history book is chapter eight, when democracy fell and the U.S. actually was destroyed. And of course, they're going to give credit to the people responsible for that in the history book, which would be Donald Trump and a lot of Marjorie Taylor Greens, and thank goodness that that history book will never be written. Thank goodness that history book will never be written. As far as I can see right now, they're not going to be writing any versions of that history book, and we need to keep it that way. So that's all I'm going to say. I'll talk to you all later. Have a good day. Later, folks.